Hello and welcome to Eating Smart. I'm Pam Uden, Family and Consumer Science Educator with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Program here in Cabarrus County. Thanks so much for joining us and thanks for telling us how much you're enjoying the recipes and that you are trying the recipes with your family and friends. It's our goal to share quick and easy but nutritious recipes with you in each show. Today, I think you've got a recipe that you're really going to enjoy and it's very, very easy. We're going to be preparing honey lime salad. And I'd like to say in the very beginning that I received this recipe from the Dole Company, their monthly Dole Nutrition newsletter. And um, it's a little bit different. It has a different taste because of some of the ingredients. Someone asked me earlier today, are you going to be using yogurt? I love yogurt salads, but this salad has no yogurt in it. You know, before we really start making the salad, we need to just think a few minutes about the importance of eating fruits in our diets. Every day we need at least five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables. Most Americans aren't getting nearly five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables. Well, how are some easy ways to work fruits or vegetables in your diet? Well, we can of course eat fruits fresh, but remember they're also wonderful frozen, canned, or dried. Take along a piece of fruit when you go to work. Keep a piece of fruit in your car. Make some recipes, some main dish recipes that use fruit, such as chicken salad with apples and grapes. Other meat entrees ask and require fruits. Try some of those. Keep fruit on your cabinet at all times. That way, that's going to be the first snack you see when you walk into the kitchen. It'll also be the first snack your children see when they come in the kitchen. Keep fruits on eye level in the refrigerator. So that's going to be the first thing you grab when you open that refrigerator door. Keep some fruit at work. Keep a, can, a small can of dried peaches or dried fruit in your desk drawer. Pack some dried fruit to enjoy as you're driving down the road. There are lots of ways to add fruits to your diet. It doesn't have to be an apple or a banana as we maybe typically think about. Today we're going to be uh, making a very, very simple fruit salad that can be used as a dessert or as part of your meal. And the ingredients in honey lime fruit salad are one 20 ounce can of pineapple and the pineapple should be drained and you want to reserve one fourth cup of the pineapple juice. The other ingredients are one can, 11 to 15, 11 or 15 ounce can of mandarin oranges. The next ingredient is one large banana sliced one kiwi that's been peeled, sliced, and quartered, and one cup of peeled and sliced and quartered strawberries. The other ingredients that give this uh, salad the special taste will be one fourth teaspoon of grated lime peel, two tablespoons of lime juice, and one tablespoon of honey. This recipe is so simple, you're really going to enjoy preparing it with your family. We're going to start by adding the um, large can of pineapple chunks. And remember, they've been drained. If you get a little bit of juice, that's okay. But we're going to add one um, can of pineapple. And the pineapple give you kind of a tropical flavor. It's a real treat to eat pineapple when it's cold outside. The next ingredient is going to be a, um, I'm using a 15 ant ounce can of mandarin oranges. And I guess mandarin oranges are one of my favorite fruits. I love the taste of mandarin oranges. The next ingredient that we're going to add will be one large banana that's been sliced. Since I sliced this banana in advance, I've soaked it in a mixture of water and ascorbic acid. But at home, if you're making this salad and quickly put it together, you will not even have to worry about the banana turning brown. 
Did you know that bananas are the most popular fruit in the United States? I thought it would be an apple, but it's not. It's a banana. And if you get home from the grocery store and your bananas are not totally ripe, you can let them ripen at room temperature and or you can put them in a brown paper bag and they will, <coughs> excuse me, ripen in the brown paper bag. The next ingredient we're going to add will be one uh, kiwi that has been uh, peeled, sliced, and quartered. The neat thing about the kiwi is that it's one of the uh, fruits that contain more nutrients than almost any other fruit. When you're in the grocery store purchasing a kiwi, you're going to be looking for one that's firm, and you'll bring it home wash it and peel it. I understand in New Zealand people just eat a kiwi with the peeling on, but here in our country we peel the kiwi, we wash it, we peel it, we slice it, and then we quarter it. It's such an interesting fruit, the kiwi. The next ingredient we're going to be adding will be one cup of strawberries. And when you purchase strawberries at the grocery store or farmer's market, bring them home, store them in your refrigerator for two days to three. When you get ready to use them, wash the strawberries then, pull off the cap, and uh, you're ready to use them in a salad. But wait until you're ready to use them before you wash them. The next ingredient is going to be one fourth teaspoon grated lime peel. Now there are a lot of tools you can use to get this grated lime peel, but I'm using just an old-fashioned grater. And uh, the lime smells so good, and when you get home from the grocery store, you get ready to use it. You want to wash the lime really well, then dry it, and you're ready to grate it or use it in your recipes. Now this lime is very tough skinned, so I'm going to start by grating it, first of all, on the really sharp side of my grater. Then when you've gotten going a little bit, you can turn your grater around and use uh, one that has a little bit bigger holes. The main thing when you're shredding a lime or a lemon, you want to remember you don't want to get into the white part, the pulpy part of the lime. That's kind of bitter. Same thing applies with a lemon too. You want to really uh, shred or get the peel, the outer peel. To save time, I've already done that, and I'm going to go ahead now and set my fruit aside, and I'm going to prepare the little bit of uh, juice or the, uh, the special part of the fruit. And the special part of the fruit starts with the pineapple juice, and remember we saved one fourth cup of pineapple juice. Now I'm going to add one, tea one fourth teaspoon of grated lime peel. And I'll tell you a secret, don't worry if you get a little bit more than one fourth teaspoon. It gives this salad such a nice taste. The next thing we're going to add will be two tablespoons of lime juice. And I, once you finish uh, getting the peel off the lime, you're ready to squeeze it, and uh, you have no trouble in getting plenty of lime juice for this recipe. That was uh, two tablespoons of lime juice. The next thing we're going to add is one tablespoon of honey. And it can be a challenge to get honey uh, to come off of a measuring spoon. So I have coated the measuring spoon with some cooking spray. And with luck, the honey is just going to come right off the um, tablespoon and it will not stick at all. And it does. So that's just a little trick. Use some cooking spray on your tablespoon or your cup if you're measuring uh, some honey. Next, we will stir the pineapple juice, the honey, uh, the shredded lime, and the lime juice together. It's smelling so good. Just a little bit of lime really gives you such a nice aroma. And I'm just doing all this in a measuring cup for ease and convenience. I think that's what we like to do, things that are quick and easy. Now, we're ready to pour the uh, mixture of lime juice and pineapple over our salad. Doesn't this look good? It smells really good too. Then when everything is on the salad, just take a few seconds and toss it. 
Um, this salad is better served the day you prepare it. When you keep it in the refrigerator for more than a day or so, it will, um, the bananas will get kind of soggy. So you'll want to prepare the salad the same day you serve it. This was a simple salad, wasn't it? Honey lime salad. And you can rest assured it is packed with nutrients, with strawberries, oranges, pineapple juice, lime juice, and kiwi. I love those kiwi. When you're ready to enjoy honey lime salad, serve it in a goblet or a, you could even top some low-fat uh, vanilla yogurt with this fruit, but it's an elegant dessert. I served it recently at my home and my new daughter-in-law said, ooh, that's pretty. She was impressed and that's an important part of a family dinner. The honey lime salad will serve seven people and remember you'll want to eat it the same day you prepare it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, learning about this simple fruit salad. It'll help each of us get the needed five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables each day. Keep fruits on your cabinet in an eye level of your refrigerator so it will be the first snack you grab. Thanks for joining us for Eating Smart and enjoy honey lime salad as you eat smart at home.